G'day, hey, just a quick video. Uh, I thought I'd post this up. I haven't seen one up on YouTube, so just a quick video here on how to test your electric motor out of a roof pump for a 2007 EOS. So this is my car here. I had a few troubles with it, and um, it turns out it was the roof motor, the electric motor that failed. And so very quick test, and it's an easy one how to do, and a DIY can do this yourself. Um, I'm not an automotive technician, um, so let's go to it. So this is a spare pump I've got. Um, you can do this inside the car, you don't have to remove it from the car. Um, so there's two bolts holding the motor on, one there and one down bottom here. Uh, so what have I got here? I've got a uh, T25 Torx. So I've already partway removed the bottom one. Um, now of course there's going to be oil in the reservoir. Uh, as I say, you can do this in the car, no problem at all. The oil shouldn't leak out too much. Um, you take the top one out here. Um, and the motor just simply slides out like that. And you can see there's an O-ring around the top here. Uh, the, now this motor's been cleaned up quite a bit, so um, there's a wee keyway here with a, um, a key in it. And that drives the pump itself. As I say, you probably get a little bit of oil leaking out here. Just put a rag under it and be prepared to fill up your reservoir once you're finished. And there's four wires on here. There's a, a big red one and a big black one. So that's obviously a positive negative. And it's a 12 volt motor, so it's really quite simple to test. The other two wires on here, the two smaller ones, are for the thermal overload in the pump. I've made up a quick um, test rig here. It's just basically two, uh, two wires. A red and a black. One side's got a fuse on it, the other side's got an alligator clip, and I'm going to attach that back to the battery. And all you do is take a couple of plugs there I put on the end. You put one on the red one, one on the black one. Uh, I've got these both red, but uh, I know which one's which. So this one here I'll put on the black one. Where is the black one? Up there. Like that. And then the other one goes to the red one. That's correct there. Now we'll just chuck that on the battery. So you just stick that straight to 12 volts, the motor should spin, come to life. And if it doesn't, then that confirms that your motor's dead. So let's try this one out. Okay, so here we are. Uh, motor here, I've connected my red and black wire. I've connected the alligator clip here to the uh, negative. And this side here, I'll just touch on the positive here, and the motor should spin to life. There you go, that one works perfectly. It's as simple as that. So as I say, I had some trouble with my roof pump in this car, and it turned out it was the electric motor, and when I tested it this way, the motor didn't work. Uh, so that's a different video. I'm going to post up how I um, took that mo take the motor apart, so check that video out as well. But that's a really simple test on how to check the electric motor for your roof pump.